see uh, what are the, some the, uh, of the issues that uh, you might run into uh, creating a website if you don't use the WordPress, right? Yes. So, uh, first, well, first is when running a blog with online services, usually with uh, free online services, right? Yes. So there are, for example, uh, you start to create your own blog in a free online service. One of the issues that we encounter most of the time is that uh, there are too many ads too many ads that are provided by, by the, the host of this uh, service and usually these ads, uh, they reduce the user experience. Yeah, because they will interrupt when they're browsing some articles. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. And then there is the poor file handling, uh, poor file handling which makes the editing uh, inefficient so you, you uh, won't be able to edit your files, images, videos or all the content that you have there. Yeah. yeah. And the other one is the service can be term terminated without a warning. So since it's a free tool and they have, uh, usually they just terminate your website or your blog without any warning, they just go off. So uh, furthermore is like, if we are a startup company or an enterprise or a, a company that we are willing to quickly set a, a website, we need to have many websites, uh, many web pages in the website. Yes. So we, it's quite complicated to set one by one to do the backup, uh, the backending and the link connections and everything. Yes. And uh, the other, uh, 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 how to say, difficulty that we encounter is that uh, there are a lot of third party softwares and services that we need to put in our website to, to utilize all these services, right? Yes. So for that, we say that uh, to solve all, the, all of these, WordPress is the solution, right? Yeah, because I think many website in our uh, in on the internet is use WordPress too. Yeah, it's like uh, thirty three percent of the. Yeah, I think even more. Even more. Yeah. Oh, it's powered by WordPress. Yeah. That's actually a lot. So by introducing WordPress, we we see that the f why WordPress is useful and it has like these four features that uh, provides uh, to uh, the every uh, customer that is willing to launch their blog or website. So first would be, there are plenty of uh, free themes, there are maybe thousands of free, yeah. free, free themes. It's uh, very simple to use, it's, it has a re responsive web design. Yeah. And the last one is the various third party plugins. Yeah, so check it. So uh, it would the be... First one is thousands of free th themes so that you can choose uh, different themes for your web, web, wordpress uh, blog based on uh, subject what you want uh, your uh, theme to be if it's an e-commerce website or uh, whatever other options you're willing to do your blog into right so you can choose the themes and also most of the web designers are focused on making a uh, wordpress theme so if you if you can even buy this, a very fancy one so the third one, the second one is the simple to use. So it has a very interactive interface and you can create your personal blog even if you don't know coding, right? Yeah. So uh, you can, for example, uh, choose the color. You can do... Uh, change the background color. Change the background color. Maybe adjust the, the, the positionings of the items there. And yes. you don't have to do it with a code. You yes. can just drag and drop. And uh, it has a responsive web design. So uh, the theme or the web design that you have in WordPress, it responds based on the device that you're using. So it will have uh, 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 the website adjusted, for example, for your PC or for your tablet or for your phone. It will be the, uh, very user friendly based on the device. And the last one for feature for uh, WordPress is that you can have third-party plugins which means that there are plugins uh, provided in the wordpress uh, that help you uh, how to say use or make your blog better for example for search engine optimization you can increase ranking by using these services or use anti-spam plugins or any other plugin that wants you want to make your website uh, look cooler right yeah so 